Hereditary spastic paraplegia HSP is a group of rare inherited disorders characterized by progressive weakness and stiffness spasticity in the leg muscles. Symptoms typically worsen over time, leading to difficulties in walking and mobility. HSP can be classified into pure forms, which primarily affect the lower limbs and complicated forms, which may include additional symptoms such as peripheral neuropathy, epilepsy, and cognitive impairment. Also, note the sensory impairment and how to determine up to which spinal segment the sensations are lost. Watch this video to note, scissor gait, spasticity, upper motor neuron weakness of legs, brisk tendon reflexes, and ankle clonus. Notice the tone. Bulk. There is some degree of uh, apparent wasting, but the bulk is equal on the two sides. Notice for any elicitable fasciculations. Tone in the dorsiflexion sniffer. Checking for the tone in the legs and the ankles checking for the bar notice that you can lift against gravity but cannot uh, fully elevate the limb checking power against resistance yes, difficulty in plantar flexion Impaired dorsiflexion of the ankle. Power in the extensor of the hips. Power in plexus of the hip. Almost grade 3 to 4 power. Extensor of the knees. Laxers of the knees being checked. So overall she has approximately grade 4 power in the lower limbs. Now checking for the tendon flexes. Note the brisk knee jerk. Brisk ankle jugs, ankle clonus being demonstrated. So checking for the Babinski signs or plantar flexors. Note the upgoing planter more marked on the left side. Now we are checking for the sensations. Grossly, the sensations are intact. Checking uh, for the deep touch or slight pain. The segmental approach now started with the S1 and L. Up. 4 and then L5. Up. This is L3 area. We are not exposing this lady, Up. but we are checking sensations by over the close. Back show. It's important to examine the back in a patient with paraplegia, noticing any skeletal deformity, any trauma, any gibbous. Along with that, we also will be checking the 
sense per sensory level. So note the spine is in there is no deformity. We are checking for the sensations at the back. So moving this, you know, so this is the level where she has she feels the sensations, the below that the sensations are slightly impaired. Doing it again on the right side and this is the plant where she straightens up because of when she starts feeling the pain. We are going to confirm it by limited exposure of the abdomen to notice for any sensory level. So starting in a graded fashion from L1 up to like this. Now this is the point where she feels the pain or feels the sensations. Right. So it's exactly at the level of the umbilicus. This young girl had normal developmental milestones till seven years of her age. She developed progressive difficulty in walking since then. There was no history of trauma. The MR imaging findings of the brain and spine include atrophy of the corpus callosum, T to high signal intensity in the posterior limb of the internal capsule, and spinal cord atrophy.